So the first thing I want to talk to you about um, are probiotics. You probably have no, you probably know about probiotics, right? Have you heard about them? I've heard of them. Okay, so probiotics um, are a big thing in medicine now because we're uh, realizing they've been underutilized and that they have a wide spectrum of use, um, not only in gut problems, you know, not only in diarrhea, but in liver disease. And one of the things that probiotics do is they minimize the amount of those waste products I was talking about that the liver has to deal with. And the less uh, of those waste products the liver has to deal with that come from the gut, um, from other bacteria other than the probiotics, the better off you are. And there have actually been some good trials, some good clinical trials in people with hepatitis C to show that probiotics help decrease hepatic encephalopathy and help people feel better. So there are very specific types of probiotics that have been studied, very specific strains. I always like to give people what have been used in clinical trials because we know that's what works. Uh, so there are two uh, specific types that have been tested. One is called VSL3, and I'll put that on your chart notes. And the other is called uh, Symbiotic, which is a powdered uh, formula you can just put in water and take. It's easier for some people to take that way, and it tastes very good. Um, all these things are very palatable. They're very easy to take. So that's something that I'm going to suggest that you start doing right away and that you continue to do even when you feel better because remember your liver has lost its ability to do this job and until that cirrhosis is reversed and your liver starts gaining more ability um, you'll need to stay on the probiotics. And now is that something I would take every day? That's something that you absolutely take every day. I'm going to give it to you twice a day to take with meals. It's very important the probiotics are taken in the middle of a meal. And I know you've got kids, you've got a busy schedule, but the dosing of the probiotics is crucial because you don't want these little organisms, you're actually taking bacteria, to be eaten up by your stomach acid. And the time that is best is when most of the stomach acid has already been soaked up by the food that you've eaten. So I'll, I'll give you specific instructions about how to do that. Now, how soon will you start feeling better? This is not, there's nothing magic about probiotics. They take some time to work, and in the studies it really is up to four weeks before people start seeing an improvement in their symptoms. Um, but that's not the only thing I'm going to give you. The other thing I'm going to suggest that you take is an amino acid. Amino acids are breakdown products of protein. Um, so amino acids are found in food. And there's an amino acid called L-carnitine which has been used in uh, a variety of different trials with people with hepatitis C. So it's been used to treat hepatic encephalopathy, but they're also using L-carnitine uh, in addition to standard treatment right now. And I know that's not an option for you, but I'm just letting you know that L-carnitine is something that's been studied quite a bit um, in standard medicine. Uh, carnitine, again, helps break down this ammonia that's causing all the problems into urea, which is what you excrete. That's what's in our urine. Um, and carnitine uh, affects your metabolism in a natural way. Uh, we have carnitine in our bodies. It's just that people with hepatitis C don't have enough. Most of the studies of looking at carnitine in the blood of people with hepatitis C has shown that it's low. And so we, what we may actually be doing is normalizing your carnitine levels. I don't think it's worth testing them. I think it's just going to be useful to take the carnitine. So carnitine is something that you take in a pill form, and I'll give you a very specific dosage. Uh, most studies, two grams twice a day is the best dosage for carnitine and hepatic encephalopathy.